Hello and welcome to Computer Active TV. My name is Tim Smith and today we're continuing our look at how to clean a PC. Now in the last episode we looked at how to open up the system unit of a desktop computer to clean the heat sinks and fans to help the computer run in coolly. Now heat is an even greater problem with notebook computers because all the components are closer together and so it gets hotter much more quickly. Now you can often tell if a notebook is suffering in this way because the fan will be going more often and the performance may drop off as the processor slows down to avoid overheating. This Dell Inspiron 5100 is a fairly good example. It's about five years old now and it's nothing like as quiet as it was when we first got it. Now a small word of warning, as with opening a desktop computer, opening a notebook is very likely to invalidate your warranty. In fact even more so with a desktop computer because most manufacturers accept that a desktop computer will be opened at some point to replace components. Notebooks are really designed as a closed box. But with a notebook of this age, there's no active warranty anyway, and the heat could become a serious problem in the long term anyway. Now, another word of warning is to make sure that everything is backed up on the computer before you make a start. If you want some help on backing up your computer, you can follow the link that's displayed below now. Although there's no chance of anything going wrong, it's just a good idea to make sure that all your files are safe. As with a desktop computer, it's important to remove all forms of power from the notebook before you start. You need to do more than simply unplug the power cord because there's a battery inside too. On the underside of the notebook should be some labels showing where the various bits of the notebook are. On this one, there's a little battery symbol next to a catch. Simply flip the catch and slide out the battery pack. Put that on one side when we put the notebook back together again. The fan on this notebook is to be found underneath the keyboard, which is held down by four screws underneath this blue plastic strip here. It's quite simple to remove. Take a flathead screwdriver and just put it in the indent at one corner and lift it out. Once that's been removed, you can see the four screws here, here and here underneath, and these need to be taken away so the keyboard can be lifted out. As you're doing this, make sure that you keep all the screws together in one place. There'll be other screws later on and we don't want to mix them up. Now that the screws have been removed, it's quite simple to take away the keyboard. Move it towards the screen slightly as there's some catches that fit underneath this part of the notebook and then fold it back over. Be careful not to pull too hard because of this ribbon here that connects the keyboard to the rest of the computer. And you can see there's another plate that separates the keyboard from the processor. There's just one more screw here, which is in that hole there. Unscrew that, and the plate should then come off quite quickly, revealing the processor and the fan. The fan itself is held down by three more screws, here, here and here. We've already taken two away, so just remove the last one. And then you can also take out the fan. Now be careful with the fan because like the keyboard it's still connected to the rest of the computer. So you can just pull it off like that and as you can see it's really rather dusty. Now probably the easiest thing to use to get the dust away are some cotton wool buds because you can then get a bit of pressure to remove the dust from all the blades. You will need to be patient because this will take a little while. Once the fan is clear, we also need to clean the heat sink that uh, the, the air goes over, and that's actually underneath here. Now to do that, we'll take a can of compressed air and direct it inside, pointing out of the notebook. Once that's all done and the fan is clear, we can then reassemble the notebook. So we'll pop the fan back in and screw it down. So now we have a cleaner and hopefully quieter and cooler notebook. If you want to read the full text of this workshop, you can do so using the link down below. 
Now this isn't a job you want to do as often as the desktop computer because it is a bit more fiddly, but it's something that can breathe new life into an old notebook and hopefully make it something that won't make you the source of unwanted attention trying to use it in public. This has been Tim Smith with Computer Active Hints and Tips.